Hey guys, it's me again. I know I made a couple of videos like a few days ago about my crochet and atresia. This time it's about dream interpretation. Yes, dream interpretation. We're gonna under try to understand what dreams mean, but I don't wanna go into that whole psychic phenomenon thing. I like to look at things in a scientific manner. You know, research and science is basically what my evidence is. There is no proof that any kind of weird, strange, psych psychic stuff exists. Um, so basically, to me, in my world of dream interpretation, when you have a dream that you don't understand or like whatever it is that's going on, basically what happens is your brain is like a camera. It records everything that happens in a couple of days or hours or wherever, whatever you're doing. And certain things just take a really hard time, like it just takes a long time to process it into your brain. So what happens is, during the stages of sleep, your brain just try, like, kind of just, it just scans through everything. And it tries to understand. So basically a dream is a way of trying to solve a problem that you cannot solve while you're, while you're awake. While you're awake, your brain is too focused on what's happening in front of you versus when you're sleeping your brain has more time to focus on what happened during the day as you're sleeping because your actual brain is not you're awakening you're awake during your awakening stage is just too much going on too much noise too much stuff happening so basically what you're trying to do is understand everything and that's the reason why when you have an issue that you're dealing with during the day and you go to sleep and you just don't know what to do with about, about it you either talk to somebody or you could either talk to somebody or you go to sleep and you wake up with a new idea of how to address the problem um, that's what basically what happens some people when they go to sleep they come up with new creative ideas versus like for me for example I'm an artist I like to paint and I come up with new ideas from when I go to sleep. In my head, everything is just like extremely artistic and just kind of trying to understand what's happening, like, and then take everything and turn it into an artistic manner. But in the scientific world, there's no such thing as psychic phenomena or any kind of weird, strange paranormal stuff. Don't be mad at me if I said that. All of you guys who are interested in the paranormal stuff, don't be mad at me but I'm just telling the truth that in the world of science, there's no such thing as paranormal. Everything is basically getting hard cold facts of why certain things happen and trying to evaluate the evidence instead of jumping to conclusions. I mean, I'm not saying that I don't believe it. I'm just saying that before I jump to conclusions, I have to look at everything in the scientific manner first. What is actually there? before I make assumptions about what happens. Like for instance, someone claims that they had sleep paralysis and they couldn't move and that they were seeing unhuman things flying around them and stuff like that. What my response would be is that your brain got stuck in the process of rapid eye movement in between the stages of sleep and your actual body was paralyzed because there's a fluid around your brain that seeps down into the spinal cord which disables physical movement and there's a a nerve next to the cerebellum cerebellum that creates that's in control of emotions arousal and fear and everything it just goes crazy because your physical body is not there is not actually able to move so that's why they call it sleep paralysis and you go through these hallucinations and everything and that's when you begin to feel that you see stuff that's not there it's not that actually something's there or somebody's there it's the brain trying to act out what it's actually seeing though the body is paralyzed because of the fluid that circus that that's around the brain it seeps down into your spinal cord and disables your physical movement for a short period of time and don't just assume that something strange is happening look at everything in a scientific manner before you make assumptions and you know you might not want people to think something's wrong with you 
There's a name for it. It's called sleep paralysis slash old hag syndrome from the ancient times where there was an old lady who probably died and each time somebody had a, an encounter with sleep paralysis, they quote unquote felt something sitting on their chest, an old hobbit or hag. It was the old lady, quote unquote, old hag syndrome, which they used to call it. And now in the modern time, which is our time now, they would call it sleep paralysis, which is basically looking at everything in a scientific manner instead of going all off in a whole paranormal research tangent versus dream interpretations where people think that they have dreams about strange stuff. It's just your brain trying to understand things and you shouldn't take a dream so seriously. It's just your brain scanning things like a scanner is trying to understand what's happening while you're asleep. So therefore, there goes my dream interpretation video. Bye.